My name is Anna and I'm a student at the University of West Florida studying marine biology. I picked marine biology because it's the one thing that I've always loved. I've been fascinated by marine animals and the ocean and like a water baby. I've always loved to stay in the water and play with all the animals. Um, so it's the one thing that I actually have a passion to learn about and it's something that I actually am good at doing. But I, for my future career, I've always wanted to work with like every single animal possible. I love sea turtles personally, but then I've had experiences with sharks, octopus, seahorses, and they're just so awesome that I just want to travel abroad and work with conservation efforts of those different animals, especially sea turtles like in Costa Rica. If you're working on marine biology as your degree program, you're likely to take classes such as chemistry, physics, and then a bunch of other classes that you probably don't want to take or even think that you need, like genetics or ecology. Um, but you really get surprised at how well each of those courses contribute into the bigger picture and gives you this bigger understanding so that way when you actually go out in your field to work, you understand what's happening. Um, but there are awesome classes like zoology, um, animal behavior, fisheries biology. I know our favorite courses are marine invertebrate and vertebrate zoology. You get to have these labs where you go out and collect in the field and you bring back all the fishes. You know, we have, saw a seahorse and we come back into the lab and we can do dissections and you get to actually touch these creatures and see their insides and really understand, although they probably don't look like the picture that you're given, but it really helps you understand everything you need to know. So that way when you go out in the field, in the aquarium or whatever you want to do, you understand everything that's happening. My favorite part about being in marine biology are the awesome field trips we get to take. We go out and collect in the field and you get hands-on experiences with things that in other majors you don't usually get. You learn it in the classroom setting and that's it. But you can go out in the field, away from the lab, bring things back to the lab to fully understand things. But there's so many ecosystems and environments out there that you need to learn about that they're not always appropriate in the classroom. And so when you go out into the field, you get to understand the different abiotic factors um, and how the animals in live in the environment. And so it's so much fun. And then another, the, that branches off into, you have the opportunity to study abroad a lot of the times. I have the experiences of going to Costa Rica and the Galapagos Islands to study about marine biology. And that's just been phenomenal. And it's like, what other majors get to say that they can go to awesome field trips and awesome places to learn what they really love to do. One part that a lot of students have a difficulty with is the taxonomy. It's very specific and the classification gets confusing and your brain gets turned upside down and you just, it, you struggle with it a lot. And because there's so many different animals and there's so many different categories, you go from like, you know, you learn the kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, and some of the classes make you remember all of them and you have to backtrack from looking at the fish and it's like, oh, give me the whole lineage and you're like, but it's okay because at the end of it you really learn it all and it and you're surprised at what your brain can do for you in order to prepare yourself for this major i know one thing that really helps me was getting involved i volunteered at an aquarium and if you have an aquarium by you that's probably one of the best things you can do along with getting your scuba certification um, the aquarium gives you hands-on experience that helps you connect the dots from animals and your classroom work um, and then I know something I struggled with and a lot of people do is talk to your professors your professors are there for a reason and they're usually really really nice and they want to talk to you and they're so insightful that you learn so many more things outside of the classroom when you talk to them and they also have a lot of undergraduate studies like there's research programs you can get into with them. You can work on their work and it opens up your eyes and it shows you more directions that you can go in for your future. Like if you're interested in research or if you're not, or if you volunteer with different programs, there's a lot of internships that do um, with pro like the actual programs um, or research with animals, or if you just want to do husbandry, there's a lot of husbandry aspects that you can get into. And those are things that 
are the best things that you could do for your future to get the experience that you need to move on. One more thing I should mention is marine biology isn't the clean, cleanest major. You have to be willing to get dirty and you have to be willing to accept all the smells that nature provides for you and a lot of the insects tend to attack you. So you have to be mentally prepared that you're not just going to be playing with dolphins, you know, but that they, there is poo involved.